Hello everybody, welcome back to another Hoffbergman Explained video for Farming Simulator 22. Today we're going to take a look at all things cows. But before that, this video is brought to you by Brett Pruitt and Cowboy Farming. Thank you for being farm barons. So as we have seen with other animal videos related to Hoffbergman for Farm Sim 22, and cows are no exception, they all take a unique approach as compared to the base game. And with respect to cows, we have three growth stages of both Angus and Holstein varieties. We even have bulls available in Hofbergman for Farm Sim 22. Now, unlike the Farm Sim 19 version, bulls do not have a direct approach with respect to reproduction. Bulls are simply listed as being the protector of the herd. But who's to say what may come in previous or in future updates with respect to Farm Sim 22's version of Hoff Bergman? Let's go ahead and take a look at our animal dealer menu here. As you can see, we have Holstein and Angus calves. They are newborns and they will mature into heifers at the ripe age of 12 months. And then at the age of 18 months, they will mature into full-fledged cows. Once they are cows, they will have the ability to reproduce. And then 10 months later, we will get ourselves another batch of calves. I've already taken the liberty of acquiring a pair of calves, heifers, and cows here at the main cow barn. We're going to be able to find those inside here. And with respect to the animal models, the full-fledged 18-month-old cows are going to be using the standard Farm Sim 22 animal model. Then we have our heifers, which are 12-month-old cows. And then we have our calves, which are going to be located right here. Now, in addition to having the main cow barn here, on the side of the cow barn... We also have some calf igloos. And this is going to be for specifically raising or rearing the calves from zero months to 12 months. And then at that point, we can then transport these calves once they have become heifers back over here to the animal trigger and place them into the main barn. Here at the main barn, we have our milk trigger located right here. We have a straw trigger located inside, and we can bring straw in as far as in bale format. Like this. Or we can supply straw in loose format. Just like that. Now, with respect to total mixed rations, that is also going to be different as compared to base game Farm Sim 22. And the fact that total mixed rations on Hoff Bergman for Farm Sim 22 is going to consist of hay, silage, and straw. There is no mineral feed component to total mixed rations here on Hoff Bergman for Farm Sim 22. We can also purchase big bags of TMR. If we go to our shop menu, go to objects, we go to big bags. We do have the ability to buy mixed feed, which is going to be 2,000 liters of TMR for $1,900. Now we also have one other animal area for cows, and that is an outside pasture that is to the west of field nine. It is available right here. We do not own it at the start. I've gone ahead and bought this for $7,000 or $78,600. And see if I can jump to 
this particular area. I cannot, so we'll go ahead and take a little look at that here in a little bit. Let me go ahead and get some TMR mixed up and we'll go ahead and feed these cows. We can see that the food trough is located right here. We'll go ahead and get these guys stocked up with TMR. And then let's make our way over to the cow pasture. Where we can talk about the water trough, the food trough, and then how we are going to milk our cows over there. So to our right, we have the cow pasture A. Given the fact that it is identified with a letter A, seems to imply that we may have additional cow pastures in future iterations of Hoff Bergman for Farm Sim 22. There we have our animal dealer trigger. We're going to go ahead and, well, let's go ahead and get a pair of bulls just for fun. While we're at it, just for funsies, we'll get a pair of Angus calves, Angus heifers, and Angus cows. So here we have our mix. We have our Angus cows. Your Angus calves. We have our Angus Heifers, Angus heifers. And then our bulls, where's our bulls? Hello, Mr. Bulls. Here we go, Mr. Bull. How are you doing, sir? We're going to open the gate there. We can bring bales over here to feed our cows. We'll have to bring them into the feed ring. We are going to use this load of mixed rations. guys some water fill up the water trough just like so and when it comes time to milk our cows here in the cow pasture we're going to make use of another custom piece of machinery that is included with the map, and that is the mobile milking parlor. So the way this is going to work is we need to bring the mobile milking parlor into the cow pasture. We're just going to place it right there. And before I go anywhere, I should unfold it with X. There we go. And let's take a look at where we can buy the mobile milking parlor. Here in the shop.
So if we go to tools and we go to animals, scroll all the way over, we're going to have the mobile milking parlor. $8,500 holds 10,000 liters worth of milk. We can change the design color. It's going to change the roof tarp. And of course, we can give it a license plate. We can also come down here to mods and DLCs and find it here under Hoff Bergman. So the mobile milking parlor located right there. Now I've gone ahead and advanced one more month. That way we will have some milk to feed our calves. And unlike moving our calves from the main cow barn to the igloo, I'm just going to go ahead and pull up our animal dealer menu. I'm going to buy a calf here. And now we have a calf within our calf igloo. And these calves are going to require food as well as straw. Now, conveniently, we have a straw stack located right here. We're going to go into details on how to use this straw tack in stack in another video. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to bring our straw over and place it into the cow pasture or the cow igloo, I should say. And then we're going to need to give this little guy some milk. So how do we do that? Well, there's a couple different ways we could do it. But one of the more efficient ways is to use our barrel trolley. And come over here to the milk trigger in our cow building. And load it up with milk. Another way we could do it is to have a pail of milk. At which time we could bring our pail over here and tote it back over to the cow igloo we could fill our pail from this trolley and dump it into each igloo or we could use a trailer like what we have over here to the left and fill that with milk and then use that on the igloo now this dolly will hold 500 liters worth of milk after one day, we have 463 liters worth of milk. And we're going to bring this back over in. I believe the calf is going to take 100 liters worth of milk, which is going to be good for about a day. Uh, we're going to need to feed the calves every day in these igloos. So we'll hit I and fill it up with milk. Just like that. So now this little guy is right and ready to go. If we like take a look at our animals, you can see that we have a calf in the igloo A. He's got 100 liters of milk, 500 liters worth of straw. He is good to go. Now, calves in the cow shed do not require milk. In fact, there isn't a milk trigger in this area to put milk in. You may say to yourself, well, well maybe milk goes over here. Uh, that's not a case. Milk does not go into here. So calves in the main cow shed do not require milk. We can pretend that they're getting milk from, uh, well, you know, more traditional methods. And same goes for calves that may be over in the cow pasture. And we will get manure that will spawn in here. I don't know if we have enough manure spawning to see it, but manure will spawn in a line, approximately aligned with this fence. And that's why we have the bucket here. We will be using the bucket to clean out the manure. So let's go ahead and advance a few more days and see how things transpire. So I've gone ahead and fast forwarded five months worth of time. We have our calf still here in Igloo A. We do have some manure that we need to clean up. So for that, I have brought over my trusty wheelbarrow that we have already seen in other videos if you've watched any more 
of the Hoff Bergman Explained videos. And what we're going to do is we are going to do a control Y with respect to that. And work to fill this area up. Now, it's hard to get all of the manure out of there. And I have tried and tried to see if I can open this gate. I'm pretty sure this gate is supposed to open. But there's just so many triggers here that are all on top of each other. I have yet to be able to find the sweet spot in order to, to be able to open this up. But at any rate, we've got our manure out of there. To bring our barrel trolley back in here to top that off with milk. We now have some manure in here we need to clean up. We'll open the gate. You can see we've got our line of manure there. up and of course we can simply deposit our manure here at the manure heap if we look at our animals here you'll see that our initial calves we bought at the horse shed or the cow shed are now five months old our heifers are at 17 months old so next month, we will no longer have heifers in the cow shed. They will become another batch of cows. Our main cows here are 23 months old. We have also heifers here in cow pasture A. Again, in another month, they will grow into cows. So we will have four Angus cows in the cow pasture. We will have then six cow Holstein cows in the cow pasture. And then we have our Angus calves, five months old. Then we have our bull. Now let's jump over here to the cow pasture because I wanted to demonstrate now the use of the mobile milking parlor since we have now some milk over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to enter the milking parlor. We're going to turn it on by hitting B. And when we do that, well, we have a volunteer cow that has uh, come into the milking parlor. Got a little smile on your face. Are you happy? Are you happy? And then we're going to hit R to start filling. See, we do have an indicator on the display here. And we are basically now milking all of the cows in the pasture here. Once we are done milking, we're going to basically turn off the milking parlor. And at that point, we can also fold up our milking parlor, should we so wish. We're going to head and exit our milking parlor. And then we can pull milk out of the parlor use of our universal tank We're just coming alongside we'll hit R and then transfer our milk from our mobile milking parlor into our trailer now there are a few things we could do with this milk we come to our production screen you know, see one thing we can do with our milk is we can make cheese with our milk and we can also make cheese with our goat milk we can also make butter with our milk more on that in a future video we can bring our milk down to the milk the country dairy to then process our milk into hydrogenized milk
and that is currently just set up as a sell point. It is not in any way production yet, even though it shows kind of production there with respect to the country dairy, there isn't an output trigger at the country dairy air quotes yet. I suspect that there will be in a future iteration of Hoff Bergman for farm sim 22. So right now, the best thing to do with respect to the country dairy is to flip this over to selling because there isn't a way to output hydrogenated milk and there really isn't a use for it in any way to have it set to distribution. So now that we have pulled our milk out of the mobile parlor, let's go ahead and take it down to the country dairy. Country Dairy is over here between fields 18 and 19. And it's an awful large area, like I said, just to be a drop off point for milk. And that is why I'm pretty confident that we are going to see this really get expanded and uh, enhanced in future iterations of Hoff Bergman for Farm Sim 22. But for now, all we have is the ability to come here and basically overload our milk. into the country dairy. We look at our production screen. We have milk coming in and then it is going to process milk into hydrogenated milk, but there isn't anything we can do with hydrogenated milk. And in fact, there isn't an output trigger here for hydrogenated milk. So setting it to selling simply means at the top of the hour, we are going to sell our milk for a little bit of a profit. Oh, of course, we need to activate the production. Silly. So while we are heading back to the farm, we'll fast forward a ton. There you can see we are selling our milk. Now I'm going to go ahead and fast forward one more month. And we'll see our heifers grow into cows. And then we'll fast forward a few more months after that to hopefully see our calves grow into heifers. Now that it is February, we have fully matured our heifers into cows as you can see in the cow shed we have calves which are six months old they are halfway on their way to becoming heifers we have our calf that is in the igloo all by itself it is at five months old and then our heifers which are now cows are 18 months old our original cows are now 24 months old then we have down here into the cow pasture. Again, we have our heifers, which were here, are now, we now have, have four full-fledged cows for Angus. Then we have our two cows for our Holsteins. So like I said, let's go ahead and fast forward time again until we have our initial batch of calves are gonna grow into heifers. And well, we just might see a whole new batch of calves come into the world. So I think my math was a little bit off because we now have a whole new batch of calves. We are a few months short of having our original calves grow into Holsteins, or oh, sorry, heifers. But we now have a whole new batch of calves because the original Holsteins that we bought at the start of the video have now reproduced. So we have two new calves here in the cow shed. Here we have our original calves 
that we bought at the start of the video. They are now 10 months old. And down here in cow pasture A, we have six Holstein calves because we had six Holsteins when we bought that area. And we have two Angus calves because when we bought, again, that area, we bought two Angus cows. So we are quickly growing our numbers. And very, very soon, this little guy will grow into a nice full-fledged heifer. So let's go ahead and fast forward a couple more months. We'll see our original calves grow into heifers. Then we'll go one more month to see our calf that's in the igloo grow into a heifer. And we'll talk about how we transport him out of the igloo and back into the general population here at the cow shed. So a full year has now passed and our original calves are now heifers, as we can see here. Take a look at our animals area. You'll see that our we now have 12 month old heifers. So the two calves we had at the start, our two calves that we just had a couple months ago are now two months old. And our calf in our igloo, well, he's got one more month to go and then he himself will turn into a heifer. So let's go ahead and move forward one more month and we'll close this whole thing out. Thirteen months have now passed since we started the video. Our calf is now a heifer and boy. She is just a little bit too big for this area. So let's go ahead and get her moved over into the main cow barn. For that, we're going to use the small animal trailer that comes with Hoff Bergman. We're going to back it up here to our igloo. And we're going to move our heifer into the trailer. And right around the corner. To our unloading area. At which point we will put the heifer into cow barn. Now, if I haven't mentioned it, this is where our slurry point is going to be for the cow barn. There isn't slurry for the outside pasture well that would just be thoroughly silly so guys there you go that is pretty much everything you need to know with respect to cows here on hoff bergman version 1.0.0.0 for farming simulator 22 and until next time happy farming Thank you.